Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at IBC 2019. I'm with Sam from Zoom. Now, this is your new F6 that we first saw at NAB earlier in the year. It was underneath glass, but yep. this is getting very close to shipping now. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah. Tell me all about it. Okay, yeah. So the F6, we're hoping it's going to be out in about a month's time. Uh, touch wood, fingers crossed. Um, so the F6, its main party piece really is uh, the 32-bit float recording. So what that means is basically there's so much dynamic range, uh, dual AD converters, so you basically can't clip the unit, uh, and it works both up, uh, you know, sort of up the levels and down the levels. So if you record something that's way too quiet, you can just uh, raise it up in post-production. The same as if you think you've recorded something and there's a really loud sound, uh, and it, it seems like it's clipped the recorder. In post-production, you can just bring that right down, and the the clipping is gone. So that's really its main party piece. It also records in 24-bit simultaneously with 32 as well, if you want to. Um, it's got a time code generator, headphone output line out, USB-C for, ch for power, uh, and a Bluetooth module. So the Bluetooth module is a, as an optional accessory, and uh, what this does is enables you to control using an iPad or an iPhone. You can control all the features, enter all the metadata in without having to use a tiny little screen to enter all the, all, all the text, and you can do that on your iPad. And how's this, how is it powered? So there's three ways of powering it. So there's USB-C, which so you can use a power bank or something like that if you're out in the field, a Sony L-series battery, or double A's, four double A's. So it will switch between them depending on which one has the highest voltage. So if you notice that your Sony battery just dies out of the blue, it will automatically switch over to the double A's so you don't lose your recording. And who's the F6 sort of aimed at? What's the target market for this product? I would say personally with the F6, because of its size, it's aimed at uh, one-man band, sort of like single shooters who maybe don't have the time to make sure the levels are 100% right and it, they can basically set it and forget it and and because worry about if, if if something goes wrong during the shoot they don't need to reshoot or anything like that because they can just do that in post-production and, and change the levels so yeah, I'd say it's ideal for a yeah, single single shooter. Sort of one. And you said one just in about a month's time it's going to start shipping, what's, yep. the, what's the price going to be? So the price is going to be uh, 549. Euros? Pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Euros, I believe, are around 600. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you.